Hey guys, Heavy Homes 45 here. Now, a second ago I had um, did a video about doing, uh, talking about Digimon. And I felt like I went on a rant because I started going from just talking about Digimon to talk about how Digimon is better than Pokemon. And it's really because I really do like Digimon. Now, the point that I would like to bring out about Digimon is that out of all the stories that they have, we've stayed with the focus of this one story of talking about Ty, uh, Matt, TK, Kari, uh, Mimi, Izzy, uh, Joey, and I feel like I'm missing one of them. I'm sorry, I can't think of her name right now. Sora. Yeah, Sora. Um, and this year, we decided that we were going to start it back over. They started back at the... And the question I had was, why in the world would we um, stay with them? And I want to say that it's one of the most memorable group. Like, all other stories of Digimon is basically based into this uh formula they created in that digimon um you take two characters that you don't make the main characters they don't have be the ones that have the most powerful uh creatures and um they're going to level them up because if you haven't seen digimon before digimon come in several different like you have your baby form do you have your rookie then you have your um, champion. Then you go ultimate. Then you go mega. These are going to go mega. The other ones, um, they'll go me mega, but it won't be till season two when we've tried to switch them out for different Digimon in the first place. But that's besides the point. Um, no, during the first season, you got um really involved with what was going on with Kari and Matt and uh sorry not Kari and Matt Ty and uh Matt and how they related to their Digimon Agumon and um I forget what I'm on stop using their rookie names I'm gonna use their champion name. how they get along with Garurumon and um Greymon. And if you watch like Digimon Tamers, which is Digimon Season 3, Digimon Tamers, and Digimon Frontier, which is Season 4, and Digimon Fusion, eventually somewhere in it, you're going to see a Agumon, or you don't see um, Garurumon somewhere. Like, whether it be Were Garurumon, Metal Garurumon, uh, Regular Garurumon. Uh, you're going to see one of their characters because those are characters that were started in that first season and they were loved. They like even the main characters of each story at some point has a character that basically is a evolved form of Garumon or Greymon. I think in Digimon Frontier it was Heat War Greymon. Um, then. One of them had a Kendo Garurumon in Frontier. You know, um, there was also one, I want to say, in, um, I think Growlmon eventually became a Greymon too, but I can't remember what his uh, name was because he was uh, Gilmon. He became from Gilmon to... Uh, Growlmon, then he became uh, Cyber Greymon or something like that. And so, you know, and also as the story goes that way, you'll have people that kind of go on the wayside. You have extra characters. Um, if you look at Digimon Tamers, they were the first ones to have three characters that all leveled up to their highest level because each one of them were able to bio digivolve which was something that they 
move forward into spirit digivolving when you get into frontier. Um, and, um, it, the original Digimon season is the basis for all the other ones. Cause it's kind of like, if you don't see an Agumon or, uh, Gr Garuma, the show just doesn't seem to be the same. It's not the, um, you know, you feel like you miss them, and they make sure that they show them somewhere. You always have one character that's a high head that, you know, just look before you leap. I mean, leap before you look, and you have one that's like look before you leap. You know, one's a little bit more tranquil. The other one's a little bit more insane. Uh, well, not insane, but courageous, which is something that happens in these shows. Um, but when it comes to talking about uh, the original Dis Digi Destin, they, they took up, even though we say it's season one, they had a long time of uh, being digidestined. Like when I was watching the show, I was watching um, season Digimon Timers, Digimon Frontier. Both of them had about 50 episodes. And I think that Digimon, the first season, had at least about 60 because you go through a lot of different villains. Like, the first person they go against is, uh, I want to say, yeah, they go against Devimon. Then after they beat Devimon, they have to go against, um, what's that vampire-looking Digimon? Um, I'm about to say Dracomon. <laughs> um, I forget his name, but... <coughs> they went from them, him to Piedmon and his crew so you know they went through a lot of different people to finally get to the end and by that point you saw French like these random group of kids that didn't even know how to deal with each other first gain the friendship start to trust in each other got new Digimon tamers to go with them, um, got a stronger friendship with the Digimon that they did have, and, you know, whenever someone wants to introduce you to Digimon, that's usually the one that they'll show you. They don't go to, like, season two or anything like that, because that's when you see TK become TK, you know, you don't go... You don't see when TK, but you don't want to see when TK became. You want to see when TK was a Ryan the baby, and he was walk around with Patamon. That's just how it is sometimes. Um, but yeah, I do like watching uh, Digimon, and I just wanted to talk about that real quick of why I feel that. Um, even though there are at least three to four other, yeah, you know, there's at least four other iterations of Digimon, but we still go to the tried and true first uh, creation of it whenever we want to uh, create new. Because, like, all the movies that they have of Digimon is not dealing with any of the other ones, like going back to. The Digimon Tamers are going back to having, uh, going back to Frontier where they do spirit evolution. We go all the way back to Ty and all them, and we get Omnimon, and, uh, yeah, we get Omnimon and Paladromon. Paladromon came in the second season, but yeah, you get Omnimon, and Omnimon is like the baddest one of them all, and he's just a fusion, if I remember correctly, of, um, Gar Metal Garumon and War Greymon. And I think it kind of goes with I I think that they also have Matt and 
Matt and uh, Ty in there, but I'm not sure. But yeah, um, on something that's a little bit different, uh, I'm going to probably put the rant up after this one. After I put this one out, like I'm gonna put this one out first, and then I'm gonna put my rant on why Digimon is better than Pokemon. Um, and to me, it's a rant because I some of the stuff that I said in this, I did say in that, but I felt like it was so unorganized that I wasn't going to make that the main one. This is the main one, and the other one just gonna be me just venting about how I feel about Pokemon versus Digimon and all that stuff. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I'll catch y'all later.